Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and this is day seven, I think about it, day seven of Junk Journal Gift Ideas. And today we were to make a notepad or a notepad holder or post-it note holder or anything that would give us additional writing space that we could put in our junk journals. And I'm working with the Christmas Peacock Kit, and I wanted some additional writing space in the little journal that I'm working on. So I thought I would show an idea that I've got to uh, share with you today. Do check the description box below to links to the other videos or part of the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group and also links for any products that I shout out during the video. And do know that I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time and on Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. I do junk journals on Mondays and mixed media on Thursdays and I hope you'll join us. All right, let's get started. So, for this, I decided to use some of my 12 by 12 scrapbook paper. I have a bunch of it. I have a bunch that was given to me and I've kind of shown around in this room that I have a lot of it. So I grabbed a few pages that I thought would be good that you could write on or at least maybe post a picture or something else on it. So I've got four pages of scrapbook paper and it kind of matters if it's directional patterned like this is a direction, but as far as this is going to be concerned, it'll be okay. But if you have something that when you fold the paper in half, it's upside down, you may not want to use that. So I've got these four and one piece of 12 by 12 cardstock. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trim these four pages into four inch strips. And I want them, so for example, this line page, let's put that on top. I know I'm going to want the lines to go this way on my four inch strips. I'm just going to line them all up and cut them. What I like about using the scrapbook paper is I can make these four inch cuts, cut it twice, and I now have enough pages to make three of these little journals or notepads. I'm going to go ahead and cut the cardstock at four inches as well. Prior to the video, I took one of my mop-up pages from using one of the stencils. This stencil is from the Peacock Christmas kit, and I use some of the Peacock Christmas colors. So I've got these pages here, I've got three of them. I'm going to go ahead and fold all the papers in half. Okay, so now that I have all the pages folded in half, what I'm going to do is start stacking these together to make my journal's pages. So I'm going to open this up and... I'll kind of mix it up a little bit. I'll grab different patterns and prints and put them together. And then I'll grab my book binding tools. I've got a large paper clip here. And I'm going to need about three times the width, so th what is that, 12 inches of thread. So I'm going to do this a couple of times because I need to make three of these. So instead of getting out my thread twice, I'm just going to get it out once and cut that. All right, so I'm going to punch holes in here. I'm just using this little template so I could get the one in the center. You know, I don't get out a ruler. <laughs> so I'm just poking three holes. It's going to be a pamphlet stitch. I'm going to use my book binders needles. I do offer these in my shop. I've had people ask for them. I've got them for two for five dollars in my shop. So now I'm going to start in the center go to the outside make sure i don't pull that thread all the way through come back to the inside i'll pull this thread down so that i only have a small tail on the inside and then you want to pull this back out of the way so it's not in that hole obscuring it and then put your needle back down in and then come back up from the back side or outside and then what I do is I just slip it underneath that first thread and then pull these in opposite directions. Make sure that it's tight on the outside and the inside. And then I'll go ahead and tie this off. Now you could do the sewing where the thread comes out on the outside and then leave your tails long enough that you could add some charms or beads or something like that. Kind of depends on what I'm doing, whether or not... I take the time. So there is my base for my journal. I'm going to go ahead and make the other two and then we'll decorate them. 
Okay, so now I have these three little notepads that I have made with the 12 by 12 and one eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper that I've trimmed down. So you can see that there is plenty of space to write or leave some notes or photos or glue things inside. But let's go ahead and decorate the covers. I've got a gel print here that I've already trimmed down to fit the front inside. But I think what I want to do is I want to stamp on it. So I'm getting out some archival ink, jet black, and I've got the shabby stitches. So it looks like it's been sewn upon. And I'm just going to stamp all the way around. Like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue this down on the front here. I'm just going to use Aline's Tacky Glue to glue it down. This would be great to use up those random papers that you have. You know, if you only have eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper, then just make your cover a little bit smaller. You don't have to make it the full six by 12 or uh, four by six or a four by 12 sheet of paper folded in half. All right, I'm gonna put, um, we wish you a holly jolly Christmas. I'm just gonna put that right in the middle. Just something simple. I don't need a lot of embellishment on it because I want it to stay relatively flat. But you can collage, you can do all kinds of stuff here. And then I've got a couple more. Let's go ahead and decorate these. I've got, this little piece was left over, so I'm just gonna glue one down. All right, so I've got a couple of word phrases that I need to add some distress ink to. I just used the Tim Holtz Walnut Stain and then the Blending Tool by Ranger Ink. I'm going to put this little snowman or snow lady maybe. I don't know. She's got a bow on. Let's put her right here. And then I've got this reindeer that's got Christmas ornaments on his antlers. Oh, I forgot to put down the mixed media page. I thought I'd already done it. <laughs> <laughs> now see how quick that was that I made those three little notepads really fast and they'll fit into a pocket into your journal you can put it under a belly band whatever you so choose here's some others that I made prior to the video with a poinsettia and there's a Merry Christmas with an ornament on there and then this one's another little ornament these are all from the Christmas Peacock Kit, and I don't know if you can see in that one, it has a pretty pattern in the background. That's one of my gel prints that Norella used to populate that. All right, everybody. Well, there is day seven. I believe that's right. <laughs> day seven of Junk Journal Gift Ideas. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Do check out the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group, and of course, have a fabulous day. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Bye.